the audience. And before we are going to have a break, we are going to have another talk. I'm going to invite Viktor Samoylenko with his topic, the modern technologies to have the trainings and experience exchange among the doctors from the Aspici Tech Company. Please. Let's uh, get a round of applause for Viktor. Dear Victor, during the next 10 minutes, I kind of invite you to deliver your talk. And in case anyone is going to have any kind of questions, we are going to have some time to ask those questions, or you may ask them during the coffee break. So please, Victor Samoylenko. Yeah, thanks so much. Good afternoon. My name is Victor Samoylenko. I am CEO and co-founder of Aspici. First of all, I would like to say thanks. Thanks for the service of our military personnel and also everybody who was involved in the armed forces of Ukraine and who joined armed forces of Ukraine. So, talking about a speech about technology. The company was founded in the end of this 2021 and it was a company which uh, which uh, was aiming to make a powerful social impact globally in order to avoid the conflicts and to allow people to exchange the experience freely beyond the limitations. But because of the full-scale invasion, we have changed our focus and right now we make everything feasible in order to support our country to get the victory. Talking about our technologies. The basic concept is the following. We are developing the technology which is going to allow people to take a look on what is happening around other people with their own eyes. From the technological point of view, that's about usage of uh, 360 cameras, 360 degree cameras, which in the civil life might be carried, oh, so sorry, might be carry it like this, it is just uh, hanging on your neck. And in the military point of view, it is mounted to the helmet and it allows you to have a 360 video of your environment, of a combat medic, of a military representative. So basically to have a photo and video of what is going on, and it might be in offline or in real time, and to stream it into other places, into another place where a person might be using the virtual reality helmet and kind of teleport into the place of the person who is using the 360 view camera. So by using that, we may solve quite a lot of challenges and tasks which are associated with the lack of understanding on what's happening in the battlefield, for example, to help in providing the supervision in case, for example, working with the mines or working with some complicated surgical treatment to have this experience and to use it as a training. So our CTO, our virtual helmet, actually allows you to stay in my place here in the stage and to take a look how it looks like. So now talking about the experience exchange. So the usage of the virtual reality should not be as a game or just to use a VR for free time and just to get more experience and knowledge. That's, that's extremely beneficial and it allows to get uh, new knowledge faster. Right now we are cooperating with the Academy of the Army of Ukraine, which starts to fix the experience, which might be distributed quickly in a comfortable way. So you are not going to read uh, some kind of a book or a textbook or by watching the videos. We have this opportunity to fix uh, in a video the experience of performing the complicated surgery and to leave this surgery once again through yourself like you are doing it with your own experience like you are the person who is being educated and who is performing it so this is a training process consists of two parts first when we already have some experience related to care provision, for example, another person, a trainee, 
just appears to be on a place of experienced medic and allows this experience to sink in, to absorb. Uh, thus, we avoid the barriers that are natural during the training when we are just the observer. So we, if when we observe from the side, there is always a back thought whether I really need it. And also I'm easily distracted because a lot of other things are happening around. Th that might be more interesting, but in this case, I'm just plunge into this virtual reality and live through that. And thus I get absorb the knowledge as e efficient as possible. And also another thing that I will have to use some knowledge or skills for the first time when there is an expert behind me who is full time there supervising me, observing what I'm doing, then it's easier for me, psychologically easier for me to do something. And also we might avoid making mistakes more easily, which is really important in any process like demining, for example, professional trainings are structured and built, established uh, for quite a time, it's a scenario, writing, verification of this scenario, development, so on and so forth. With our technology that we offer to use, that happens quite quickly. We just get this experience and then practice skills. The first part. So the experience is absorbed and taken with a camera 360, and then we can view the knowledge and this vice versa. Camera can be used when I try to do something for the first time. And then having an expert who is supervising me is the second part. Thus, it is not just the standard usual way of obtaining knowledge, but we are going a step further how to transfer this knowledge. And this is application, healthcare, medicine, military, also just education and training. Also, it can be used to observe complicated process of construction or other com complicated processes when the vehicles are repaired, for example. Also, it can be used in rehabilitation when people get mental health issues. That's all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really interesting. Also, and there is an opportunity to see how it works. We have that opportunity outside there. So are there any questions to Victor? No questions. Probably there'll be more people who would actually like to see the device itself for this virtual reality. So, ladies and gentlemen, a small break, coffee break, and let us have a, a look at our watches. It's 15.25. Let us reconvene 15.50. Thank you. See you.